Hello, and welcome to another edition of Living Simply and Fun. And this time I will be reviewing the PDR 1878 Capa Natural uh, Cubana Especial. Cubano Especial. Uh, it has a Ecuadorian Connecticut shade wrapper with a Dominican Criollo non 98 binder and a long filler Dominican Criollo 98 and Nicaraguan Criollo 98. So this is loaded with the Criollo 98. Now, what is Criollo 98? Well, it's a hybrid of multiple Criollo plants uh, that is blue mold resistant. Uh, and if anyone needs to know, blue mold is something you don't want on your stogies. Uh, correct. And it's a replacement for the Habana 2000, which apparently had some shortcomings, and so the Criollo 98 was a better option than the Habana 2000. So, uh, and for those wondering what Criollo mean, it essentially means natural seed or whatever, and the reason for that is they believe that the Criollo seed was roughly the seed that was being grown in Cuba at the time that Columbus came to the Americas. Uh, well, I learned something new. Now, another interesting thing about the cigar is that it uses a rolling technique called entubado, uh, which is a process of taking the fillers, rolling them into thin tubes, then rolling those into the binder, kind of bunching up these tubes, so that there's better airflow going in and out of the cigar. Uh, and then they wrap that in the wrapper. Now, if you look at the end, dang that's blurry, uh, you cannot actually tell that there are little tubes rolled up inside, uh, which I was curious about. I was like, whoa, can I see them? Can I see them? Nah, it, it looks like normal cigar there. So, again, as in PDR fashion, Abe Flores has this pigtail knot at the end of all of his cigars. And I actually really enjoy having this little pigtail. And I don't know why. You don't smoke it, don't eat it, don't chew it. It just gets cut off and means really nothing at all. In fact, it tends to cause some cutting headaches sometimes. Sorry for the truck in the background. Kind of got a. Uh, I mentioned it the other day. It kind of has a stinky cheese smell to the wrapper. This is kind of more of a aged, aged cheddar smell, sort of. Here, let me get a, a, a like an aged white cheddar. Rita wants to smell it. Whoa! Don't do that. <laughs> you lick the end. Yeah, I know. You're not supposed to shove that up your nose either. <laughs> Actually, I agree. It's an aged white cheddar, which, as you know, is my favorite cheese of all time. So I told him, look. And there's uh, some kind of grassy notes coming off the foot here, which is quite natural, it seems. So, you all know my favorite cheese is about $15 to $20 a block for two pounds. So, I'm going to go ahead and fire this up now. And no, I wasn't running out of fluid in the last video. I just didn't have the flame turned up high enough. Is that kicking on by itself now? Or is that the green one? This is the blue one. And no, it didn't kick on by itself. I lit it. I'm just that quick. You mean with the lighter, you mean, Vic? Mm -hmm. mm. Hello, everyone. This is uh, Hostess Rita behind the computer. I should have Aaron turn the camera around to the other side eventually so I can do a video. Oh, now my flame does not want to go out. The gas is still going. That's wonderful. What a piece of junk lighter. There are some of you out there that smoke. I just want to say I do not recommend, and I highly do not recommend Zycar lighters at all. This is kind of like a very unsweet scotch right off the beginning. Just remove all the sweetness and go with just the scotch flavor, uh, along with maybe some marshmallow in that first puff. Lafraggy? No, definitely not. 
nobody, uh, I, I wouldn't want a motor oil flavored cigar. Not that strong. Even if it's 10 years old, Lafrayi is not a good cigar. That kind of scotch like flavor is still sitting there. Um, along with a faint hint of marshmallow, which seems to have eased off since the first puff. Um, I'm looking forward to trying this. This is a replacement in the Backyard Boogie from Cigar International. Uh, they had a different lineup of PDRs in the last one that we got. And now they've included this Capa Natural, which has a different label than the original that had a secondary band here. I think the first one actually said Cubana Especial on here. And then had the Kappa Natural written underneath on another band. Now they've just dropped the Cubana Especial part. Just so you know, the only place I've seen the PDR uh, 1878 samplers at Finsk. Nice loads of smoke coming off this. Real nice flavor so far. Um, I am thoroughly impressed so far. Uh, and as you know, I'm a huge fan of the PDR uh, Kappa Scuro, which I just did a review of. And I realized why I fell in love with it in the first place. And so far, this one is just as quality so far. And maybe it's because of that intubado rolling technique that allows the draw to come through. And maybe that's exactly how those gray cliffs that I love so much are rolled, too. So, perhaps it's a fact that I really like Intubato rolled cigars. Uh, I couldn't tell you right now because usually that's not advertised as how this cigar is rolled. Better, this one is. You better find a place that can do it then, or a place that has a list of them so you can go buy all those cigar types. That oh, you want. yeah. So, anyways, I will get back to you at the halfway point of this and let you know if this is continuing just as fantastically as I'm thinking this is going to be. Uh, see you shortly. Hello, and welcome back to the uh, second half of the halfway point of the PDR 1878 Cap Natural. Right off the hand, marvelous, marvelous, marvelous uh, rolling job. Not one little stitch burnt wrong, no wonkiness, uh, perfect draw. Uh, I barely have to put this to my mouth to have a bucket of smoke. Um, flavors of this still kind of has that scotchish feel uh, without all the sweetness that you get in scotch. Uh, it has uh, a light note of marshmallow and um, something else I was going to say about it. Um, Kind of uh, overall general creaminess. It's a beautiful flavored cigar. And uh, <coughs> I am really thoroughly enjoying this. The more of these PDR Kappas I'm smoking, the more I'm really loving the uh, brand. Uh, Abe Flores has done a fantastic job with these. And I understand that Intubato rolling technique is done in the Maduro too. And I got the Maduro to give a try to. So uh, I look forward to that one. Um, but might even save that for when I'm on uh, my trip uh, coming up next week. So anyways, uh, that's the. I'll see you in the final, final third. I, I want to end this so early, but I'm loving this cigar. So kind of a cold day out here. I think it's because I want to get inside and warm up, but I really want to enjoy this too. So... I'll see you in the final third. That's probably oh, worked. Hello and welcome back to this final third of this PDR 1878 Cap Natural Cubano Especial. So far, I have loved this cigar. Long burning stick, you can see there. Uh, it has held that razor sharp burn all the way throughout. Uh, the flavors have changed in the final third, and uh, 
are, I, I want to say they're sweeter, uh, yet at the same time a little bit stronger in body. And the flavors themselves, it's still kind of got that scotchy feeling to it. If you've ever had a scotch pipe tobacco that's not real heavy in scotch, you know what I'm talking about. Um, Uncle Louie's? Uh, that, was, that was a whiskey. That was an Irish whiskey. Yeah, that was a little sweeter, but it was still, it was comparable, I think. Um, I think it's an Irish whiskey. It, it might it have is. been a Scotch whiskey. I know it's a whiskey. Sorry. So, there's also some slight grassy notes to this. And uh, kind of a toasty marshmallow, but again, doesn't have the sugary that a marshmallow has. It's a scotch whiskey. Oh, it is a scotch. It says, uh, specially selected tobaccos, especially done in the blah, 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 single malt. Okay, so this is a scotch whiskey. This had almost very little scotch flavor to it, but it still was an infused tobacco of scotch. So, very similar in the flavor of a scotch tobacco that's not so scotchy. I, I don't know how to put it any better. Um, but I thoroughly love this blend. I would buy this time and time again. Uh, highly recommend it. Uh, wow, we even have some left, it seems. Just some rubbing. Uh, yep, smells about right. In fact, that smells sweeter than this is, but it doesn't taste sweeter out of a pipe. Um, would I recommend this? Oh yeah, I would recommend this, especially if you like those mild-bodied cigars with lots of flavor. This is very mild in body. Uh, not a lot of nicotine, not a lot of strength, lots of flavor. Fairly complex. I don't know what further to say about it other than I love it. <coughs> so, with that said, please add, subscribe, leave comments, questions, thoughts, <coughs> and um, uh, any suggestions you might have. Also, uh, until next time, enjoy every puff.